Hi and welcome to Let's Bake and Cook Stuff. I'm Mary and today I'm making the most delicious enchiladas you will ever see. They're filled with corn and black beans and cheese and then covered in a delicious sour cream gravy. And uh, let's get started. I got about uh, between a tablespoon and two tablespoons of cooking oil here. And we're going to turn this on medium high. Our oil is nice and hot. Now I'm going to add one medium onion. I just sliced it. You can also dice it or chop it up however you like it. I just kind of like the texture of the sliced ones in my enchiladas, but by all means, if you would rather have them chopped up or minced up, feel free to do that. Also on here, I have three thinly sliced jalapeno peppers, completely optional. And also in my actual recipe that I wrote, when I wrote this recipe, it only, I only called for one, but I have so many jalapenos growing on my plant outside that I decided to go ahead and put three. But do you? You can leave them out completely. You don't even need. You don't even need them. If you don't, if you don't like spicy foods, then by all means, don't put them in there. Now these need to cook for about five minutes to soften up those onions and those jalapenos, and then we'll be back. Our onions and jalapeno peppers are nicely softened. I'm going to add in. This is about four cloves of garlic. Okay. Now to this, I want to add. This was two ears of corn that I cut the cut the corn off the cob. That's two ears, probably about two cups. If you are gonna do chicken, sour cream chicken enchiladas like I used to do, or I actually still do for other people, um, this is where you'd add in your chicken that was already cooked. You would want some shredded chicken. You can even use canned chicken. This tastes so good that it just covers up the, the canny flavor. One can of black beans. And that's our filling. Yeah, if you have some leftover rotisserie chicken or if you have some just leftover barbecue chicken, you know, peel the skin off, chop it up and put it in here at this point, okay? Okay, now we're getting started on the, I'm gonna call it gravy, it's sauce, it's a sour cream sauce. I'm gonna put this on medium high again. Three tablespoons of butter. I always use salted butter, and I don't say always a lot in the kitchen because there's a lot of things that change over time and then also sometimes you want to do things and whatever the only time I will ever use unsalted butter is if I bite by accident and I just go ahead and use it but I don't I don't like it I don't like the flavor of it if I'm going to use unsalted butter especially in baking I would just need to use shortening or coconut oil or something like that I don't like the flavor of it it tastes to me it tastes it has less flavor than shortening okay I'm just melting this butter okay this is that was three tablespoons of butter three tablespoons of flour that's usually how a roux is done with equal amounts sometimes it changes we got to cook this for about a minute and what we're doing is we're cooking that flour taste out of that flour if you don't do this step your gravy will taste floury and i'll tell you how i know this for one thing every book about making gravy will tell you that but also i've done it where i went i don't want to do it for a minute i'm in a hurry i'm going to just start my next step and if you do that it tastes like flour <laughs> it tastes just like if you're eating raw flour it is not fun but we're gonna let this cook for about a minute oh, it smells good. okay so you can see there it's just butter and flour mixed right melted together now to this I need to add two cups of vegetable broth if you're doing chicken enchiladas you most certainly could use chicken broth instead okay if you wanted to do beef ones. I haven't ever done beef, but if you wanted to change it to beef enchiladas, you could do that. And then you would just use like shredded beef and you could use beef broth instead. You don't want to get it too thick because it's going to cook more in the oven. Okay. And what's good about this is that you're, most of the day everything's cooked before you're putting it in. You're just sort of warming it up and melting the cheese up after you put all the, the uh, enchiladas together. You just need to put them in the oven to heat them up. See, you're trying to get it to about a gravy-like consistency. You can see that looks like gravy, right? Now I want to get my tortillas in the microwave. However you do your tortillas for your enchiladas, you can do that too. I actually have here two paper towels that I got wet and then I wring, I wring most of the water out and then I'm putting the tortillas in between the two towels and these are gonna go in the microwave for about 60 seconds. 
while those tortillas are heating up in the microwave or getting more pliable in the microwave, I'm adding one cup of sour cream. Okay, yeah, we did that off the heat, right? So there's no, we're not using the, the burner anymore. Okay, now I wanna spray my pan. This is a nine by 13 baking pan. Okay, I just wanna sample the sauce just for a second, make sure it's okay, but look at that. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Yeah, any kind of enchiladas that you wanna make with this sauce. I'm taking about two tablespoons of the filling, which is onions, jalapeno peppers, corn and beans, right? And that's really pretty much all that's in there. Okay, and these are eight inch tortillas, by the way. So if you use different tortillas and they're gonna, you're gonna get a different amount and you're gonna wanna fill them differently, but you could certainly do these with, with the smaller corn tortillas as well. And you just rolled it up. Oh wait, I forgot to put the cheese in. I want some cheese in there too. You want about two tablespoons of the filling in here and just about a tablespoon of the cheese. this up kind of tight kind of tightly okay that is nice and tight okay about two tablespoons of the filling two heaping tablespoons okay about a tablespoon of cheese and if you don't want the cheese in there because we're putting cheese on top too then you can leave it out we're gonna roll it up nice and tightly This makes 10 of these, but if you put a little less or a little more, then you're gonna get, you know, obviously your number's gonna be different. But these are so good. These are probably my favorite enchilada. I know the chicken ones are my husband's favorite. So now we're gonna pour the sauce over. Now I wanna spread the sauce over Make sure you cover all of the enchiladas, okay? If you don't, they'll get they'll get uh, burned or they'll get, if you like them crispy, then you could do that. You could just go ahead and leave them uncovered, but it's just better if you cover them up. Just trust me, trust me. Okay, I got a little bit on there. Okay, these are gonna go into a 375 degree oven for 20 to 30 minutes until they're bubbly and uh, heated through. As my, oh, and we're gonna put some cheese on here too. And notice I'm not putting a lot of cheese on the top because, you know, we put cheese inside. I just used Colby Jack cheese and some white cheddar cheese here, but you can use any kind of cheese you want. Sharp cheddar is the best. Um, if you want to use some of that uh, pepper jack, that would be amazing. All right, 375, 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to see you back here. Sour cream, vegetarian enchiladas. That's vegetarian enchiladas topped with a sour cream sauce. Try this at home. You're going to love it. Fact of the matter is you could put anything in there in these tortillas with that sauce it would be absolutely amazing i think you're gonna like it too try it home let me know how you like it if you haven't subscribed yet would you consider doing that just hit that subscribe button doesn't cost a thing hit that bell and every time i have a new video out they'll notify you free of charge thanks for watching you take care now